Hello, from Les from Thailand. Today's video is going to talk about a solution to the Thai retirement visa problem that everybody's talking about. Everybody's talking about that they don't want to leave 800,000 baht in their account for three months and then have 400,000 baht left in their account for a year. It's sort of dead money, you're just leaving, leaving it there. And if you leave the 400,000 baht in your account and you dibble into that and you go under the 400,000 baht, then you've lost your, your retirement visa because you've gone over the specified amount, or you've gone under the specified amount that you're required to keep. So the solution to this lot, <coughs> so it serves everybody. Everybody can use this solution. It's absolutely easy. It's 100% legal and it's, anybody can do it. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a couple of examples on how you can do it. So it's for those people who don't want to, to leave 800,000 baht into their account. It's designed for the people who don't have the 65,000 baht coming into your bank account every month. It's a simple way to do it. So let's use me as an example. On my previous video about a retirement visa, I talked about that I didn't have 65,000 baht a month coming into my Thai bank account. I only had 45,000 because that's all I live on. So I've also explained that I've gone from a retirement visa to a marriage visa. And the fact that I got turned down for that in the first place. So if you watch that vi uh, video, you'll see why I got turned down for that visa. That's still in the process now. I'm waiting another 60 days before I can reapply for that. But the solution to this problem is that people don't have 65,000 baht coming into, this, into their bank account. I'm going to use my example of living on 45,000 baht a month. So I'm 20,000 baht a month short of getting 65,000 baht into my Thai bank account. So the solution to this, anybody can do this. It's, it's an idea that anybody can do it. So 20,000 baht short every month. So that is roughly 500 pounds a month that I'd have to put extra in my bank account every month to show that I'm on 65,000 baht a month. The problem that I had, that I was on 65,000 baht a month with my five brigade pension, but I never drew 65,000 baht a month. So therefore, I didn't qualify for the 65,000 baht a month. I cannot put 800,000 baht into my bank account. Absolutely impossible, so I can't do it. So the solution to this is 500 pounds. All you need is 500 pounds. And what you do is that I get 45,000 baht transferred over to my Thai bank account every month. So now, for the first month, I will get 65,000 baht sent over to my Thai bank account. And then I send the equivalent of 20,000 baht back over to England. So for next month, I'll get 65,000 baht sent over again from England. And then I'll send the equivalent of 500 pounds, 20,000 baht back over to England for next month. So I'm recycling 500 pounds every month. That just gets sent back uh, over to Thailand and then it gets sent back to England. Of course, there's gonna be bank charges. There's gonna be a little fee that you have to pay either way. It'd be the same with the Americans and the Australians. Like for the US dollars, it's $636. You'd recycle that every single month. Australian dollar, $897 every month. You get that paid on top of your 45,000 baht every month and you send that back every month. So, okay, if they turn you down this year because you don't have the money, the 800,000, all you do, you just go get a tourist visa. A tourist visa and then you go and get you go leave the country go to Cambodia or something and get another tourist visa until your years up and as long as you show that you've got 65,000 baht coming into your bank account every single month easy peasy that's that gives you your retirement visa next year you don't have to have 800,000 baht in your account you don't have to keep 400,000 baht in your account for a year all you do 
like for me, I get 45,000 baht transferred from England to my account every year. Uh, sorry, every month. So I am 20,000 baht short every month. So I just get an extra 500 pounds, which is equates to 20,000 baht every month. Then I send that 20,000 baht, change it back over to English currency, send it back to England, and then draw that again the following month. And you keep doing that for the 12 months. And you just keep on doing that all the time. No problem. Don't have to keep 800,000 baht in the bank. Don't have to worry about going under 400. It's such a simple, easy method to do it. So if you didn't understand, watch the video again. It's such a simple idea. You're recycling the 500 pounds short that you have every month using the same 500 pounds to send back over to Thailand, send it back over to England. That gives you your 65,000 baht every month. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. If you think it's a good idea, please leave the idea or any suggestions in the comments below. If you know anybody that would like to see this video, because it's such a good idea, it solves a problem the legal way, don't have to get anybody else involved, please share it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it solves your problems. So from Les, retired and living a dream in Thailand. Until the next time, bye bye for now.